I'm Frances Kelly and this is my 18th century single action pedal harp. This is the kind of instrument that Mozart composed his flute and harp concerto for. It was a new fangled wow thing that hit the Paris salons in 1760s. Most of the harpists then were male, um, but they did teach the daughters of the aristocracy. One of the most famous harps of the time was the harp which belonged to Marie Antoinette. I'm not sure if she played it much, but it was very, very beautiful. Um, the thing which was different was that harps previous to this had only one row of strings and no way of making chromatic notes unless you turned a lever manually or if you had two or three rows of strings. What was new was attaching the levers by rods down the pillar to pedals at the bottom of the harp. This harp is called a single action harp. Each note to the scale has a pe pedal attached, so we have one pedal for a, B, C, D, E, F and G and each pedal can alter the string by one semitone. That was a C going to C sharp. I could have an F going to F sharp. So we suddenly got a harp which has possibilities for chromatic writing and Mozart tests this to the full. He does some quite interesting things with it. Most of the music of the time wasn't of the calibre of Mozart, so we're very lucky to have this enchanting work to play, the two of us. The joy of playing this music on period instruments for me is that everything is in balance, so that the harp of the time is in balance with the flute of the time and with the strings and the rest of the orchestra, so it's not a fight Playing this work, the Mozart Flute and Harp Concerto, on modern instruments, the harp tends to find it quite hard to project and the flute projects very easily. So it feels a little bit like a battle, whereas on the original type of instruments, it, everything feels natural and in its own dimension. Mm -hmm. 